is there any infection number that will trigger uh, reintroduction of uh, circuit breaker measures? Uh, thank you. Uh, I mentioned, I explained this a uh, few uh, conf uh, press conferences before. Uh, I'll repeat that again. Uh, first, uh, I think uh, the numbers may go up because of higher interaction and higher uh, people to people contact, so there's a higher chance of transmission. We, we know that currently there are underlying uh, cases, undetected cases, what we call cryptic cases, and that's why from time to time you have uh, unlinked cases being detected. So these are underlying cases, and with uh, more uh, interaction uh, after the opening, uh, the risk is that the number of cases will go up, and given the incubation period of between one to two weeks, uh, therefore you are likely to see cases coming up uh, after one or two weeks after the opening. Uh, which means uh, next week or the week after. So there are uh, possibility that uh, the number of cases may start to grow. And I explained earlier that uh, it is important for us to look at uh, the nature of these cases. Uh, we expect that the number will go up, but we are more concerned about uh, cases where you f they form a large cluster. Like what we saw in the Safra and uh, the, the church cluster and uh, uh, as well as the, uh, um, uh, the office clusters. And these clusters are a concern because uh, there are a multiple number of people uh, who are involved, who are infected, and we are also concerned about super-spreading events that could uh, have a multiplying effect. So these are the trends that we are monitoring, and we are also worried about a sudden spike of a, a large number of cases, even though they are not uh, related to a cluster. So they are, uh, the nature of the cases is important, as, as important or if not more important than absolute number of cases. So we are monitoring and watching, and the response to this uh, number of cases will also depend on the nature of the cases. And uh, for example, if it's a cluster it's very in, in a very specific uh, setting, we may introduce uh, tighter measures in these settings after investigation and understanding the nature of the transmission. So we may not uh, go back to the circuit breaker where we have a nationwide uh, a circuit breaker where all activities stop except uh, essential activities. Uh, uh, unlikely to return to that scenario. What is more likely is to have a very targeted intervention depending on the nature of the outbreak and the nature of the infection and whether we are able to contain it within specific setting or specific groups of uh, uh, people or specific nature of uh, activities. And then we will have to depend on the actual cases when it happens. So the important thing is for us, uh, before these cases happen, we enhance our detection capability by expanding our ARI, doing more surveillance and watching uh, the trends more carefully. I think this will help inform us on the status of the infection in the community to allow us to react faster.